Let's have a look at how I made this 18650 battery spot welder using no Arduino or microcontroller. You turn it on by pressing the foot pedal here. You set the time here for how long duration the welding should last. You have some LEDs here. And the electrodes are just 1.5 square millimeter copper wire. You can see the front of it, the reset here. This was actually a reset button here before. I have no clue what they have used this box for. I think it was for some uh, stepper motor driver or something. I'm not sure. But yes, it has a reset button here, so I just use the same for a reset LED here. With the duration, output, on and active. And of course the on-off switch. So when I press the foot pedal, this is active LED just turns on for like the duration the transformer is turned on and then it jumps to the reset and you reset it by just uh, letting go of the foot pedal. Set the duration here. So like I said transformer is turned on much longer. Let's have a look inside of it. It's pretty simple. We've got a modified MOT. I have no clue how many turns I put on the core here, but maybe 10 turns. It is a power adapter here, providing 12 volts for the circuit. You can hear on the back of the potentiometer. And it uses a pretty simple RC circuit for timing the transformer, how long it should be turned on. The circuit uses a resistor, which is one resistor here on the circuit board and this uh, potentiometer to charge up this capacitor. And when it's charged to a certain point, the transistors here will turn on this relay, which turns on a solid state relay, which is underneath the circuit board. It's exactly the same solid state relay as this one, D2425. And it has one of the MOFs here as well. Here you can see a closer look at the circuit board. And you can see the solid state relay underneath it. Here's the schematic of it. Power comes in here. Goes through the 6.3 amp fuse. Through the switch. And you can go through here through this SSR solid state relay. And here's the microwave oven transformer which is modified. And it turns back to neutral. And we've got the power here, going to this uh, power adapter, which gives uh, 12 volts for the circuit. And here you can see it's a pretty simple RC circuit, using these uh, resistors and capacitor here, to determine for how long the welding should last. After the power adapter here, we've got a indicator LED, the green one, which says that the power is turned on. After that, you can see here, this is the foot pedal. When you push that one in, it will turn this relay on. With a flyback diode here. And I think this here is called a contact mirror. You can see how the contacts are located inside of the relay with R1.1 and R1.2, which are these contacts here. So when you push the pedal down, this relay will turn on, this one will latch, and let current flow to this uh, circuit here. This R1.2 is the discharge for the capacitor. So when this unit is turned on, current will flow here, through these resistors, and charge the capacitor here. While that one is charging, current will flow to, through this resistor here, 220 ohms, to this transistor, which turns this relay on, and this is R2, and R2 will turn the solid state relay on. I could actually skip this relay here and connect the solid state relay directly across here. But why I didn't do that, I don't know. So yes, this capacitor is now charged. And these transistors will turn on. The reset LED will turn on. And this transistor will turn on. Letting the current flow through the transistor. Letting no current go through this transistor. And this, and this relay turns off. And the solid state relay will turn off. By resetting it, just let go of the foot pedal. This contact will open, 
and this will close discharging this capacitor. It goes much faster by discharging it through this relay than just letting it discharge through these transistors here. I could choose a smaller capacitor and larger resistors here. I tried that but I didn't get these uh, transistors to turn on properly. So the transformer would be like turned on after these transistors have been turned on as well. So why that happened I don't know really. I could choose better transistors. All of the transistors are BC237. And here's the yellow LED that says that this uh, R2 is turned on, which means that the SSR is turned on. So it's quite a simple circuit. Let's have a look at some equations here. This is a function diagram. This uh, curve up here shows the foot pedal. And this is the welding time. But when you let go of the foot pedal, it resets and it can start over again. And this is quite interesting. The duration here is like 0.7 to 1.7 seconds. But while I did the equation here, it shows that it would be like 1.55 seconds or 3.9 seconds, depends, depending on where you have the potentiometer. So all the way down, the resistance is 330 ohms or joules times second through Coulomb squared. And the capacitance is uh, 4700 microfarads or Coulomb squared over joules. You can see here this uh, Coulomb squared takes out each other and same with the joules. So you're left with seconds. But yes, it shows much higher time here than the actual time I got. I think actually the lower time here is actually like uh, 0.4 seconds or something. But yes, it depends a little bit uh, with the transistor characteristics. If I look here, this is the lowest time setting. So it's quite fast. And the highest. And actually, I didn't measure the capacitor for the capacitance. But the capacitor is recycled, so maybe this value here is much lower. I was trying to use these uh, tungsten rods for electrodes, but it didn't work. The resistance in these rods are quite high and the rods just keep warming up and nothing was happened on the battery side. Yes, let's measure the current. So 200 amps maximum. It's going to weld this part. Mm. And here, we have two different readings. Mm. Yes, it welds quite good. 309 amps. Yes, that's a pretty decent current. Yes, I didn't have any other color of the wire, which was 10 square millimeters. So I ended up by just using this earth wire I got. You shouldn't do that, but hey, you take what you got. Hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching. And this actually does quite nice welds. This, this welder actually works quite good.